Hey everyone, it's Carla here, and I have something to share with you. I've been spending the morning getting organized to get a few things done this weekend, crafty related. Some Christmas cards, a pocket letter swap, and some other things for some of my clients. So, I started out digging out my 12 by 12 Christmas paper. See, I said 12 by 12 because I haven't even tapped into the 6 by 6. But I just wanted to share with you what I discovered. Take a look at how many paper pads that I have. It's quite overwhelming. Yep. Not to the end yet. There they all are. And hopefully, the lighting in the basement here is a little bit dark, so hopefully y'all can see. Yeah, that's a lot. I haven't bought any this year. Um, and actually, a lot of them at Michael's are either repeats, and you'll see in some of these if I flip through them. Or, they're just, they didn't appeal to me. So, these are from years past. And, um, I just thought it would be fun to take a look at them. This is a Mambi. I think this was from the past year or two. I know you've all seen that, so I'll go quick. It's called Walking in Winter Wonderland. The next one is Simple Stories. This one's really pretty. This is Craftsmith. I think I got this last year on clearance after the fact. Y'all have all seen that. This is the Die Cuts paper pad. Let me hold it up there because that way you all can see. I'm on my phone, so hopefully y'all can see. And it's got a little bit of a glare. Um, let me see if I turn this light off if that helps any. No, I made it dark. Let me turn it back on. So we'll just we'll just deal with the glare. So there's that one. And this one's um, a couple years old. This is my mind's eye. And I think Recollections last year or the year before repackaged this collection. So I didn't get it So because I'd already had this one. So got that one. Peppermint Forest. This was one of my favorites a few years ago. I, I think I actually had two of these, and this is these weren't as big as some of the others. So um, this one, again, this one is from my mind's eye, and I'm pretty sure that Recollections repackaged this one as well. And as you can see, this is a Recollections um, paper pad. Jingle Bells, Pink Paisley, very pretty, I love the blues, and Teresa Collins, I know I have these in 6x6 six six for sure, and some Specialty from Me and My Big Ideas, see this one's really old because it's got the old logo, still love it though, this one's going way back, this is Die Cuts with a View, this is the thinner stacks. They used to do those big, huge jumbo packs. Cut into that one a lot. Got a couple of those. This is another me and my big ideas large paper pad. And again, some of these will probably look familiar because they've, you know, repackaged them. Um, Recollections has had some bundled by them. This one, I think I got this one last year on clearance. This Christmas Glam. Here's another Santa's list from Teresa Collins. This was actually probably one of my absolute favorite paper stacks. Because um, it was one of the first that came out years and years ago by my mind's eye. Um, because it had all the glitter and foiling and just really, really pretty. So I think I had two of these and this is what's left of that one. We got that. This one's going way back too. This one's falling apart. Um, and they had coordinating sticker packs and stuff when they used to do a lot of that. Um, I still like the thinner papers for layering so things don't get bulky. So I still have that. And see this one? This one is one of the... Um, this one's really going way back. I don't even know if they have a year on this one. I'm curious how many people have this. Um, yeah, no year. Um, this is when they included the sticker packs. In, in like little cutouts. This is before pocket letters and stuff. So you got borders and stuff. 
but see it was a whole kit in a stack so I really like those um, this one I don't think this one's that old but I'm I'm pretty sure that recollections also rebundled this one in the past couple of years so that's why I skipped some of those because I knew I had some there's that one I think I got this one AC more this is a little yellow bicycle kit I have a lot of um, embellishments that match this paper kit. See, here's another old old one from way back when. See, it was one of the kits. So you get a lot of different things. And I haven't cut it. haven't even used many of it. So there's that one. Can you say paper hoarder? Oh, that's the other half of that one's popped apart, I think. I think so, yeah. Some of these are old. These might be different ones that that's what's left of them. So I'm just going to count that as one. Might actually have been two or three. Now this one was probably one of the first paper stacks that I bought many moons ago. They're sticking together. And this one came as a, as a stack. But you could also... Um, oh, this goes with what I just moved. This one goes up here. This one you could um, you got the stack and then they had coordinating sticker packs and all that which I do have those I haven't pulled those out yet so I really like those and I've actually used a lot of this stack because it's really pretty this is another me and my big ideas I've used this just a couple sheets in this one and I don't care that it's old I actually like it because to me I think that's really pretty um, it's just a lot of fun to use all different types of paper this one I bought because I had the stamp set that matched this with the nutcracker and I bought this after Christmas a couple years ago I haven't used it I've been saving it for something special and um, I've always wanted to go see the nutcracker so isn't it pretty so I have the stamp set and this from our collections here's this one I think I got this at Joann's years ago it's another old stack one of the first ones I remember <clears throat> that they made with craft um, paper. I think this one coordinates with it. This is where it has all the individual dies. How many of you guys have these? I'd love to see your collections. So I've cut into that one. So this one was one of my favorites. This one might be the second of one that I've already shown um, by my mind's eye. I don't remember so I've already forgotten. Um, what's up? What have we already looked at? This one's really, 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 really pretty. And you know I have this one in 6x6 too. So here's some stra uh, stragglers from another stack. That's what's left of it. So it may have lost the cover. Let's put them up there. Because so I, I, I had a lot of these um, still upstairs in... I have one cabinet up in my old scrapbook room. So... I had to run up and bring them down. Now this one's a blast from the past. I love Kane Company. And I wish they would start making stuff again. These were double sided. It's hard to find a good double sided paper pad without um, you know, paying a fortune. So I love these. Love it. Here's another Recollections. Botanical Noel. I don't think that one's that old. Home for the Holidays. That one's really pretty. This one I'd gotten at um, Tuesday morning. It's like cut apart um, sticker sheet. I think there's only a couple in there. Um, I got that. Some Heidi Swap. Christmas Made. That one's really pretty. The soft colors by Die Cuts with a View. I don't think this one's that old. Um, I can't remember. Um, this one I think is from last year. Sorry, the paper stack's about to fall on me here. This one's called Rustic Lux. It's really soft. This would make a pretty, um, album for in January. Look at that, how pretty that is. We're almost to the bottom. Oh, and I know that this one's been repackaged several times because some of these papers are in a couple of these stacks already. So as you can see, they would go and pick, I guess, whichever ones were the, the more popular ones. And there's this one's been cut into a bit. It's falling apart. And I see, yeah, it's not much left in this one. See? Um, I 
I love this paper. Love, love, love. And then this is from Recollections. I used to love this Santa. I think I have a stamp very similar to that. Very pretty. See, this to me reminds me of my mind's eye paper. It's got the same feel and texture and colors. So, pretty sure that's just been repackaged. And then this one from my mind's eye. Love, love, love. That one hasn't even been opened. So, who else has a huge stack of Christmas paper like I do? Yep, I'm guilty. And I'm pretty sure this is all my Christmas paper, but I didn't go digging in my other shelves. But I typically keep it all together. But I think that's pretty much all. I didn't count them. I'll have to uh, count them. So you guys, it's a paper Christmas hoard. Yep. Well, I'm going to get busy. Hope I haven't bored you too much showing you all my paper. But um, I just want to know who else is guilty of hoarding paper. Well, you guys all have a great Saturday. It is shop. Small Business Saturday, so if you're out and about, support your local businesses, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.